Twice a year, Serge Bowman's has a decision to make. Set the dozens of clocks and watches in his antique shop to the correct time, or let them continue ticking along their merry way. More often than not, he chooses the latter. It would be too much work to set the time. Some of them are set because they're electronic, so those ones are usually on time, but the other ones we don't. He, along with hundreds of millions of other Europeans, may never have to change their clocks again, at least not for daylight savings. Last year, European legislators voted to ditch the biannual ritual, giving member states until the end of 2021 to decide whether they'll stick to summertime or wintertime permanently. The Nordic countries may be the first to make the leap, and coordination will be key to preventing time zones within time zones. But the public has overwhelmingly supported the idea, finding daylight savings to be a relic of the past. The concept was first introduced in Germany during World War I, and while other countries in Europe followed suit, daylight savings didn't become a fixture until the oil crisis of the 1970s. They wanted to save energy. It's now actually not saving energy. It's costing energy because uh, of the longer winter evenings, and especially now with COVID lockdown coming, it's going to be even more depressing for people when they have to put the clocks back. Studies have shown that changing the clocks, particularly an hour forward from winter to summertime, can temporarily impact sleep quality, increase car accidents, and heighten the risk of a heart attack. Sleep experts say winter, with an extra hour of daylight in the morning, is much more in line with our internal clocks. Having light in the morning might be quite important especially for people which are vulnerable to seasonal affective disorder, because it's the light in the morning which is uh, like resetting our clock and which is activating us to make it up for the day. Coronavirus and Brexit could delay the adoption of a permanent time in Europe, but with the hands already in motion, it's likely to just be a matter of time before daylight savings is a thing of the past. Tony Waterman, CGTN, Brussels.